Okay. I look a mess. This light is very bright. Hold on. Um, I am going to hang up all the stuff that I got yesterday at Salvation Army and kind of just show you what I got. I look a mess. I know. I know. Okay. This is not my shirt. I don't have a bra on. I have peanut butter on the shirt. We're just a mess. The the sweatpants are just, you know, linty as can be, but it's okay because we don't care. I'm also very tired. Okay. Anyway, besides that, um, I spent $39 at Salvation Army yesterday. So we're just going to hang up all the things that I got. This is the first thing. How fun is this? <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait. Is it high low? Hold on. It looks weird. It's got to be, right? Where's the, oh yeah. Okay. So it's high low. I didn't know that. Very cute. It's a size double extra large. It's from Target and it's new with tags. I think, yes, it is from Target. Pride adult skirt. Very cute. This is a dollar. So it's snowing here today. I'm in Massachusetts. It's funny though, like they act like it's so much snow because we like haven't gotten hardly any snow this year. Um, like literally the town offices sent out a notification that they weren't opening until 10 this morning. And I'm like, oh, there must be a lot of snow outside. And I looked and it's literally nothing. <laughs> so, I don't know. Whatever. I don't have to go into work today, which is kind of nice. I've been working like every single day. That is so cute. I love me a little tool skirt. Uh, 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 what else? Oh, okay. So this has some marks on it, but I was like, I can't leave this for a dollar. I didn't even look up the brand, but I was like, this is so cute. It is a romper denim with a belt. I like that. It's very cute, but it does have some marks on it. So actually I'm not even going to hang this one up. I'm going to throw it in the wash and try and get the marks out. Um, this was also a dollar, and the brand on this one is Kittenish, size large. So, actually, I got more yesterday than I usually get. I got this for myself. I love Aruba. I miss it. I went last july june something like that but oh, it's so cute somebody like cropped this hoodie i'm pretty sure but my mom is actually there right now and my brothers and i'm so jealous but yeah so cute a dollar i like the color that'd be really cute to just wear with some like high-waisted leggings or something so that can go in the wash because that's for me this is a life is good shirt i don't usually pick up life is good but this one was just really colorful and I don't see a lot of tank tops. Life is good. It's always like the t-shirts. So I got this and it just says, take it slow. Life is good. I also figured I could give it to my mom if it doesn't sell. Cause like she lives on a lake and it's her size and I just thought it would be cute. Um, these are tricky to take the staples out of when they don't put it, like when there's no tag, they put it through the material and then there ends up being a little hole, which of course there is, but it's very small. So we'll hang that one up. We'll try and sell that. Okay, this I think I'm gonna try first because it's free people, but it's very basic free people. I don't know how quick it'll sell. So I thought, you know, it's a large, but free people sizing is so weird because this is a large, but it looks like it would fit me. I usually wear a medium. Um, but I also can wear like an extra small one for the people. So I actually got this in white and black. I'm going to try it first because I'll probably keep it before I'll sell it. It's just too basic to um, sell. I mean, it might sell, but probably not for very much. And if I can have a basic white long sleeve and a basic black long sleeve, why not? Right? This I got because it's really cute. This is also for me. Lots of things for myself. See this one too. They put it through the material. I love them so much there, but like, please put it through the tag. And I have to like finagle the tag off. Okay, did I get it? Yes, and again, a little teeny tiny hole, see? 
This is just ambiance. It's a size medium. And it's just, I liked the sleeves. I thought the sleeves were really pretty. And I'm very excited for um, spring. So I'm like, oh, this would be really cute to wear this spring. So that's what I'm going to wash. This is just an MTV shirt. I thought it was cute because it was red, white, and blue. I don't pick up everything MTV because there's so much of it. And a lot of it's like Walmart and Target and stuff like that. So um, this one might be two, but I grabbed it because it's red, white, and blue and sleeveless. And I thought that someone might like it for 4th of July or Memorial Day or something like that. So we'll get this tag off. We'll hang this one up. I like these like um, work with me videos. I see I watch a lot of these. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's do it. I usually just do a quick haul, but whatever. Um, before I forget, I have to show you guys the cutest thing. Don't mind my messy room. I'll put it there. These were my favorite find of the entire trip. They're little Uggs. Look how cute they are. Sorry, the lighting is not that great. I need to move this light more this way, I think. Um, look how cute for my son. I love them. They're like the Tom Brady boots. I cleaned them up already, but they already weren't in that bad of condition. They just needed a little, little cleaning because usually like the Uggs get all ripped right here and all worn and these aren't that bad. And these were marked at $12 and the lady gave them to me for five, which was really awesome. So oh my God, he loved them. He had to wear them like literally out of the store. Like he loved them. Um, let's see. These I got hoping I can get this stain out, but they were only a dollar and they're anthropology and they might fit me. In fact, they probably will fit me. They're 29, but how cute are these? They're just like the tapered leg little like pants and they're this like blush pink color. Um, again, size 29. The stain is here. It almost looks like a deodorant stain type thing. You almost can't even see it, right? Right here. Um, but I'm going to try and get that out. So I'm going to put this one in the wash. Um, I'm probably going to try them on. I don't, I don't know how much I'd wear these. I mean, they are cute, but I'm not a big leg. I literally live in sweatpants and leggings. So like, when am I going to wear these? Actually, they'd look cute with that top that I just showed you guys, but we'll throw those in the wash anyway. Okay, this I got. I have no idea if this is a good brand. It looks like it might be. It feels like it is. I think I've seen this tag before at the consignment store that I work at. It's called Cezanne. And it feels beautiful. And look how pretty this sweater is. And it's like lightweight. It's got this like really pretty stuff at the top. Um, I know we're getting out of sweater season, but I just thought this was so cute. Um, so I small, I don't know if I said that already. It feels like mohair. Nope. Yes, it is. It does have some mohair in it. It's um, polyacrylic, polymide, mohair, and wool. Polymide? Is that right? Did I just speak another language? Polyamide? I have no idea. Whatever. <laughs> cute. Um, so this one can go on here because I am going to sell this one. Guys, I've been loving Depop so much. I've done really well on there. I don't know why I didn't start. You know, I had a Depop for a long time and I just never posted anything on it. Felt like I was very intimidated by it because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm cool enough to have a Depop, but I like it. I'm selling a lot and all sorts of stuff sells on there. Belts, oh my God, I've had such luck with belts. This I got to consign. It's just this really pretty springy top from White House Black Market. White House Black Market sells really good consigned. So I grabbed that and it's an, uh, a small, it's got these cute little buttons and stuff. Oh, I love that. So I'm not going to hang that up. I'm just going to put that over here. This I got specifically for Depop. I just thought this was really cool. It says Bonita all over it. I don't think it's like any special brand or anything. I didn't even look the brand up, but get this down. Um, yeah, I just really thought that was so cute and someone could crop it if they wanted or whatever, but it just says Bonita all over the front and the back and the brand is Viva La Bonita. It's a size large. I don't know if that's a good brand. Maybe it is, but I just thought it was cool. So we'll hang that one up. That's specifically for Depop, but I post everything on everything, so it'll be everywhere. 
Poshmark, Depop, Thrifty List Boston on everything, or it's Thrifty List Boss. Like, if I can't fit the whole thing in, but I think on, you on, um, what's it called? Poshmark, I'm Thrifty List Boss, B-O-S, and yeah, I know that much. Okay, this is Abercrombie & Fitch. I've heard Abercrombie & Fitch is, like, on fire right now. Um, I've sold a few Abercrombie and Fetch. I like it. Um, the square neckline, it's a bodysuit and it's knit and it's short sleeve. So I thought this would be kind of good for spring, um, but you can really wear it anytime but summer probably. It's an extra large, which is an awesome size. And it's just like really, really nice. So we'll hang that up. Hi, Sissy. What are you doing? I'm, 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 I'm in my Superhero. Where is it? Probably in the playroom. She likes making YouTube videos now. Like, obviously, we don't post them, but she takes her little, like, play phone and, like, makes videos. It's so cute. Okay, so that's it. That's the first bag. We've got three bags, but that was, like, the big bag. Now I have two small Aldi bags. Like, this size. Love Aldi, by the way. We just got one here, and it's awesome. Did you find it? All right, good. Vampirina. Okay, these are so cute. So again, another brand that I don't always pick up, but it's Victoria's Secret. Now these, let's see. These I thought were pajama pants, but I'm pretty sure they're like not. Maybe they are, but they're Victoria's Secret. They're extra large and they're these satiny pants, but they have that like pleat. And then look how wide the legs are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute and they're perfect. They're like perfect condition. So those were like a steal. They were a dollar. The reason I don't think they're pajama pants is because the front is like this flat part and then the back is the elastic. So I don't know. I guess you could wear them either way, but you could definitely wear these out. I would. God, and they're long too. So if you're tall or you want to wear them with heels, be perfect. This I got because I had to have it. It has a stain on it, but I was like, I'm not, I just loved it. It's literally just this like Calvin Klein cropped t-shirt, but it's like the tie-dye like just spoke to me. I just, I loved it. I love this. I'm going to keep this for myself for a little while. The stain is like the teeniest, tiniest thing. It's literally right there. I don't think you can see it. Um, but I've been trying to not buy things with stains because you know what? Unless it's like amazing because I just... I know I'm not going to stain treat it. I'm just not that person. But this is going to go in the wash. That stain might even come out. I'm going to keep that for me for right now. Um, these are Zara pants. I actually want to try these on myself because they're mediums. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff for myself. I don't know what I'm thinking. I literally don't need any more clothes. Like, I have the smallest closet. Like, if you can see, we have one closet here and then one closet there. And this one's my husband's and that one's mine. And literally, they're like this big. And it's terrible and we have like no storage in this house so <laughs> I don't know where I think I'm putting all these clothes but anyway um I actually have a pair of black pants that I really freaking love they're amazing I got them from the consignment store that I work at and they're like the pants like they make your butt look so good oh my god they're just so cute um and I don't wear dress pants a lot so I'm probably gonna just sell these <sighs> they look kind of long but then you always have to figure like where are they gonna land um, I do like that they have like this slit at the bottom on the front, which is kind of cool, but I don't know. I'm just going to sell them. I really don't need them. In fact, I have two pairs of black pants, dress pants, and I don't wear black dress pants. Like, like I said, like I went to the casino, um, like last month and I wore black pants with like a cute free people top, but like I never wear black pants. I have no reason to, so... Um, I don't need those. I have a pair of Vince and I have a pair of the other pair. Of, I don't even know what the brand is. It's like, a, I, don't think, I think it's like a European brand. This is like not the cutest, but it's Armani Collezioni. I don't think I'm saying that right, but so I was like, somebody's going to want that. I can't leave Armani behind for a dollar, right? Um, it's like textured. It's stretchy. It's a size eight. I think it could even fit a large, um, but that's really... I don't know. It was Armani. I had to get it. I couldn't leave it at the thrift store. I didn't like love it, but whatever. I got this for my daughter. It was a freaking dollar and I was taking 
How cute is it? It's just like a little raincoat. It's like the perfect season though. And it's literally brand new. It's just one donation, which I think is Walmart. But I mean, even at Walmart, this would have been like 15 bucks. So I'll take it for a dollar, especially because it's literally brand new. So that's going to go in the wash. Um, what else? These are beautiful and they're brand new. Okay, they're very small size. They're size two, I think. Which I'm like trying to not pick up. Sorry. Okay. I, I went on Poshmark and like liked a bunch of bathing suits because I'm like wicked in like summer mode right now. But like I don't know what I'm thinking. So I just got a notification that someone sent me an offer because I've gone through and liked like every cup she bathing suit ever. If you have not tried cup she bathing suits, they're a freaking amazing. I love them. I have like so many all my bathing suits are cup she i do have some zaffle but like since having my kids they don't really look that great on me but the cup she ones oh, amazing okay anyway back to this so these are wide legs super high rise size two regular like i said i'm trying to not pick up very small sizes because i just organize my stuff i have tons of small sizes but these were just too pretty to leave behind like look at that beautiful print and their new tags if they weren't new with tags, I might not have grabbed them, but oh, look how pretty. They're so pretty. Um, and I just love Express. Like, I don't know. Express is from, like, my generation. Like, if you're in your 30s, we wore Express. Like, that's what we rocked. First it was Wet Seal, and then Wet Seal closed, and then we all got bougie and went and shopped at Express, you know? Okay. Don't hang these. They're really cute. Someone in a size two will hopefully find them and love them. All right, what's next? This is a Red Sox shirt. I've sold like every Red Sox shirt I've ever posted. Um, so, and this is in like new condition. Like it's really nice. It's like the baseball style shirt. It's a bigger size. I, actually, it says it's a medium, but it's a medium, but you can fit a large. It's an oversized, um, but it's just really, really, nice it's by the brand 47 again they put the stupid thing i get it there's nowhere else to put it but very very nice I'll hang that one up i kind of like this because i'm like being productive and making a video like sometimes i feel like i can't justify making a video because i have five thousand other things i could be doing but if I'm doing stuff while I'm making a video, why not? So just work along with me, you know, hang your stuff up, do some listing. I don't know, do something, do something. I always watch people while I'm like doing stuff, so. Okay, this is a total experiment because all I see is lingerie on Depop. Now this isn't necessarily like sexy lingerie, it's not at all, but I just thought cottage core. How freaking cute is this little nighty? And this is like embroidered and lacy. Now this is like a, be a very like pale pink and they had a pale blue one but the um what's it called lace was like a little bit ripped and I was like mm, since this is an experiment I'm not gonna get that one but I did get this one um I'll tell you the brand and just I think it's Vanity Fair actually if I'm remembering correctly yep Vanity Fair so I didn't look it up or anything I mean I just thought that it was cute you know it's a cute little like nighty I keep going to like just put it down, but I'm going to hang it up. Let me know if you guys like these videos better. I think that like I like these videos better, so I don't know why I didn't think to like just do this from the beginning. Um, okay, this I was like iffy on. I was like, mm, do I want this? But I was like, I can always consign it if it doesn't sell. I hate buying stuff that's like black because it's so hard to photograph. Especially if it's just plain. Um... But it's not your daughter's jeans, which is awesome. I know their jeans sell really well. This is just like a black button down. But like, I remember when I was a waitress, it was the hardest thing ever to find a black button down. Like, it was terrible. I don't know why it was so hard, but it was. So it's like cute because it's like roughly, it's button front. It's like this, um, it's polyester, I'm sure, but it's like feels nice. It feels like a nice material. And yeah, it's just a button down. It's medium. If it doesn't sell on Poshmark, I'll consign it. Not going to do up all these buttons. I'm so lazy. I don't do up all the buttons, but I'm like, you know what? Like, you're not going to buy it just because all the buttons aren't buttoned. I don't think so. This is so cute, and I couldn't find a brand on it. Maybe I'll be able to find it right now. This is like cottage core, like perfection. Oh, 
look at that how freaking pretty it's gorgeous first of all like it's got like this like pleating part and then it's black and blue which i just think is like so pretty or is it navy um i think it's black let me see i can put it next to my black shirt yeah it's black it is just so cute i can't it's so beautiful like it's like a full skirt the blue trim at the bottom now let's see it's got this that says it's a size 42 on the inside so i don't think it's handmade i'm pretty sure it's not um, it says that it's 100% cotton, um, but there's no brand really that I can see. It's lined. Um, yeah, can't find a brand. I have no idea. Okay, so the lining is ripped. I'm just seeing now, but that's underneath. So I'll just like note that. Obviously, it doesn't affect the outside. I don't know. I don't see a brand. It's just it's gorgeous. It's freaking gorgeous. Well, maybe it's not that ripped. I think it's whatever it's on the inside I don't care but it's just beautiful I think it's so cute if this were my size I would keep it it's definitely not size 42 I don't know what size of 42 is it's probably like a s extra smaller small more of a small very cute so that can go on there I'm gonna take the taggy off of it I check the baby monitor Matthew's napping so hold on He's actually napping, which is like insane. He was just awake a little while ago, but this kid does not want to nap. Oh my God, it's like killing me. It's killing me. He's going through like that stage. He's one, is he like 17 months or something? And he, oh my God. These are mine. These are for me. Um, another old navy. The reason I got them is because they're medium talls and I have old navy's medium tall leggings and they're just like the perfect length. So I was like, these will be great. It's really hard when you're five foot nine to find a pair of pants that are long enough. Um, so these are just like for me. So these can go in the wash. Apparently I bought myself a lot of stuff this time. Okay, we're through with bag number two. Now bag number three. Anyone want a waffle? <laughs> waffle bags. Okay. I'm doing this in no order, and really, there's nothing like. Hi. Hi. You coloring still? Yes. Mom's doing a video. Careful, don't trip over that. Um, there's really nothing. Hi. All right, go color. Okay, you have to have lunch first, and then you can have ice cream. I don't want to eat lunch. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't want to. There's nothing super exciting in this haul. Like, there's no, like, awesome brands. Um, They're just, like, bread and butter. This I got because I just thought it was really pretty. I really liked the ruffle on the bottom. This, too, is Express. It's Express Design Studio. My food is gone. What's gone? I took it out of there because you weren't eating it. Do you want a snack? All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Yeah, you do. Look, you got it. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is just. And I'm not editing this. I just, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to post it free willy-nilly like this. Okay, but anyway, this is really nice. It feels nice. I don't know what the material is, but it's Express Design Studio. It's a size large. I love the color, and I liked the ruffle at the bottom. Um, and I just thought it was a great spring sweater. It's very wrinkled. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's silk and nylon. I knew it felt nice. Yeah, it's cute. Probably gonna have to steam that one a little bit. I'm not big on steaming either. Usually I just hang things and let the let them fall, but okay, this is cool. Really like this. It's just a gildan shirt. It's a size medium. Um, I believe it looks like hold on. Looks like a kid's medium. But like 
I could wear this. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it is an adult medium. It's got to be an adult medium. There's no way. It fit like a woman's medium. Like, I'm a medium. I could wear this, all right? Um, so on the front, it says Hotel California. And on the back, it says Eagles. This could be heaven or this could be hell. And then it just says Hotel California. I just love when there's a graphic on the front and the back. Um, personally, just for my own shirts. And I like to buy them. So this was really cool. I thought this was a good depop piece. Oh my God, I have to lower this light again. I'm like blinded. Oh my God, that's so much better. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, it's just gilded, but it's cute. Um, it doesn't say youth or anything though, and I feel like it would say youth if it was a youth. So, whatever. I put measurements anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, this is a pair of, oh, Ellie Tahari. This is probably like the best brand I found. I love Ellie Tahari. I just think their stuff is so classy. Um, these are just some textured pants. If you can see the texture right there. Um, they're very cute. It's almost like an Aztec kind of print, if you can see it. Um, but they are Ellie Tahari. I don't know the size. I'm going to have to measure them. But they're just like a straight leg dress pant. So they look like probably a six, maybe a four. Um, okay. So, yeah. I can't wait for spring. Oh, my gosh. We've had, like, the most mild winter, but I'm just not about it. I'm not. I thrive in the spring and in the summer. Okay. This is cool. It's a Flogging Molly zip up. I don't listen to Flogging Molly, but I love these kinds of hoodies. Like, I love zip up. Oh my gosh, they're just the best. Um, so Flogging Molly, it says it here. And then um, there's actually no size on this either, but whatever. And then the back says Flogging Molly too. So I know they're some hardcore Flogging Molly fans. I'm all about the Irish culture, so I had to get that. Let me think there's a, oh, there wasn't a tag on this. I, it fell off and I had to tell the lady that I put it in the pocket so she knew how much it was. This is a Madewell. I don't pick up Madewell a lot. Like I really don't because a lot of the Madewell I find is like really plain and Madewell just doesn't usually sell super good for me. Um, but I thought this was kind of like different and cute and like a little substantial. So I was like, all right, I'll get this one. Um, it's made well size small. It's this knit and this is a good spring too. It's knit. It's sleeveless. It's like kind of cropped and then it's got the buttons all the way down the back, which is really cute. And this is like a nice knit. Like it's, um, like quality, like good quality knit. A lot of the made well I find too is either pilled to shit or it's, um, like shrunk or like misshapen or something so this is i was gonna look up the material i'm like what am i doing j crew did i know that that made well was made by j crew i did or the same company i have no idea um i'm probably dumb for not knowing it doesn't say oh cotton okay it's cotton it's cute i think for um spring or like a like a cooler summer day this is some like cream colored like wide leg pants how cute would that be love that i mean i wouldn't wear it <laughs> but someone will look cute like that somebody's gonna look adorable we're almost done a few more things um this i got to consign um it's just a blouse it's ann taylor ann taylor store not ann taylor loft not ann taylor factory ann taylor um, it's got this little cowl neck. It's pretty colors. It's a size extra large, which is an awesome size. Um, it's always good to have like the bigger sizes. And I'm looking for the material. It feels kind of nice. I think it's just polyester though. Polyester, rayon, spandex, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The back is like cotton or cotton. I just told you what it is, but that's like that. And then this is like this cute so I'm not gonna hang that I'm just gonna put it with my other thing that I'm consigning and then this I got to consign as well 
stuff like this is just very like I I know that it'll sell at the consignment store it might not necessarily sell on Poshmark maybe it would but all right White House Black Market, which is very nice. This is like tight at the waist, long sleeve, perfect for spring, size large, great size, really pretty top. Okay. And is this the last thing? This is the last thing. And it's not exciting because I already told you about it. So this is the black version of that Free People top. Again, it's a large. It looks like it's going to fit me. I really think it will. I don't know how Free People free people does their sizing but basically any size will fit anybody <laughs> it's crazy um it's like magic but yeah so plain black top plain white top I'll try them if I don't love them I'll sell them but I think they're more worth me keeping than selling because they're plain and there's tons of free people I love free people but it doesn't sell a lot um yeah so that's everything I spent $39 I think I said that which is like 10 more dollars than I usually spend but there was a decent amount of stuff like bread and butter type thing so I did get all those things um yeah that's pretty much it um I don't know what else to say hopefully the snow stops soon I feel trapped in my house even though there's literally hardly any snow like I'll show you guys if you can see it out my window like there's like no snow out there like <laughs> whatever <laughs> okay so let me know if you like this style of video better it's a lot easier for me and like more productive for me to do it this way because I'm like doing other stuff while I'm filming video um I didn't even film my haul of last week like I got a bunch of stuff in fact I found a Balenciaga top which I know Balenciaga is so controversial right now and I'm like not for here for it but I was like do I leave Balenciaga at the thrift store and it was a dollar I was like I had to get it because I was just like I don't know <laughs> I had to get it I'm not about them but you know do you leave it I don't know tell me would you have left it would you have picked it up I don't know um but yeah I didn't film that haul because it just got away from me the week got away from me I did list everything um, I've been on top of that, but just like filming the hauls. That's why I think this way might be easier. It might be better for me. I don't know. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like subscribe and all those things. And all the links for all my shopping stuff is in the, um, little box down below there. Um, and that's pretty much it. I keep saying, um, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye.